So the ancient dusty goblin Rush Limbaugh took some time to go after Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib and defend Israel. Uh, this is hilariously bad because it's like he's not even trying anymore. Um, and it's 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 just become a mess only because there are people who think that enemies of Israel should be allowed into Israel to cause trouble for Israel. And those would be people in the Democrat Party, which is now the new home in America of anti-Semitism, and the drive-by media. These two women, anti-Semitism and hatred for Jews is in their lifeblood. It's why they wanted to be elected that and many other reasons. These women have been raised as anti-Semites. Look, this is, and I don't even have to know them to know this. All I have to know is Sharia Islam. All you have to know is Sharia Islam. Pretty sure you just clued everybody in that you don't know. <laughs> All I have to know is Sharia Islam. Oh, man. Dude, they are not even trying anymore. They have their little segment of the population. They're preaching to the choir all day long. And so they say stuff like this, and they think it, they're not exposing themselves to be total idiots. Okay. I thought it was the far right who said time and time again... The left always does false cries of bigotry when they have no argument at all. They just want to shut down the conversation by calling everybody racists and bigots. And then they do exactly that to the left. 100% complete and utter projection. Because you heard it right there, Rush Limbaugh said, they're anti-Semites. He literally said, oh, I don't even need to know them to know that they're anti-Semites. Wait, what? You don't even need to know them. So how can you possibly make that, uh, you know, conclusion? How could you come to that conclusion? How can you make that assertion? He goes, what? Well, it's in their lifeblood. In their lifeblood? What does that even mean? They were raised that way. In other words, they're brown. They're brown. They're Middle Eastern, I think. So whatever. They hate Jews. So hilariously and ironically, as he's accusing them of bigotry, he's making a bigoted argument. Because he's like, they're raised that way. You know how they are. It's in their lifeblood. I don't even need to know them to know. I mean, just look at them. God, he's so stupid. So stupid. I just need to know Sharia Islam. <laughs> Sharia Islam. Listen, not that we need to go through it, but we're going to go through it. Ilhan Omar... Um, talking about how it's all about the Benjamins, was in reference to AIPAC. AIPAC is the Israeli lobby. The whole point of the Israeli lobby is to buy politicians to do the bidding of Israel, in the same way that it's the bidding of the Saudi lobby to buy politicians to do the bidding of Saudi Arabia. This isn't a conspiracy. This isn't controversial. This is called how Washington, D.C. functions. So, but for some reason, when she calls it out, when it comes to Israel, all of a sudden she's an anti-Semite. She's not Islamophobe for calling it out for Saudi Arabia, but she is an anti-Semite for calling it out for Israel. Um, it is incredibly disingenuous. It's incredibly stupid. And it's just not true that it's anti-Semitic. And if you think it is, sincerely, you're a fool. But chances are they know it's not, but they're just lying and smearing. Um, and then the other thing is... You know, these guys love to say that they're in favor of small government and they're in favor of freedom... And then, uh, what does he say? Well, enemies of Israel shouldn't be allowed into Israel. That's a very large government when you're micromanaging the opinions of people who come into your country. And also, it is quite literally anti-freedom to say, you disagree with the official government position, so now we're not going to allow you in the country. I thought you also loved free speech, Rush. F the whole idea of free speech is, even if I disagree with what you're saying massively, it is your right to say it, and there shouldn't be punitive actions from the state against you for, for saying it. And then he calls for punitive actions from the state. Don't allow them into Israel. By the way, they were going to do a tour and go to some Palestinian territories and show you what life is like there for those people. Ilhan Omar did a long tweet thread on it. So it's damage control type stuff from the Israeli government. Oh my God, we can't have the world seeing how bad it is. So Rush Limbaugh is working backwards from his conclusion. He hates Democrats. 
He hates these congresswomen. He loves Israel. And so he doesn't care. Throw mud against the wall and hope some of it sticks. And so here we are. We're at the point where, as they accuse the left of false cries of bigotry, they do false cries of bigotry all day long. And we're at the point where he says goofy shit like, it's in their lifeblood. They were raised that way. I don't need to know them to know that they're anti-Semites. And uh, I, Rush Limbaugh, am an expert on Sharia Islam. 